woke up much earlier than normal the next day and found myself impatiently waiting for Eric's announcement. This is so boring. I had just started to pace when I noticed something through the window. The snow is gone. While I was looking at the now snow free garden, a familiar tone sounded. Finally! Good morning, I think. He abruptly cut off and a muffled voice could be heard in the background. Ah, it seems everything is ready and just in time too. Today we'll have a tournament of sorts. Tournament? What kind? Teams will be pitted against each other in a random electronic lottery. He led me to where the rest of my team was waiting. Good morning, Miss Archer. Good morning. What do you think of today's game? It's... Finally a proper chance to use my skills! Only if your skills are suited. You may just end up failing horribly. <sighs> I hope I don't end up holding you guys back. I'm sure you'll do fine. You've proven yourself to be an ass previously. A man came up to us. Miss Archer. Your team is team number 7. He handed us badges with the number 7 on them before leaving to tell other teams what their numbers were. Lucky number 7! Nice! Eric's announcement tone blared out of the loudspeakers, causing everyone to turn to the elevated stage where he could be seen. Welcome! Now that everyone has arrived and received their team numbers, we can get the show started! Please draw your attention to the electronic board. Teams will be randomly paired up to face each other in different activities, which will also be randomly decided. The servants will direct you to each activity as well as relay the rules to you. I believe that's all! Good luck! We all look at the board in anticipation, watching as it first pair up teams and then slowly began to output game names. Platter? What kind of game is that? I'm not sure, but I'm still glad it's not ours. Doggy run, Peter we didn't get that, it sounds like it could be right up Mr. Wolf's alley. Oh, that's our number, we got statues. How do you play statues? Are we supposed to scrub them or something? No. What did he get here? Please follow me to the game area so I can explain the rules to both teams. We follow him to a small area where the other team was already assembled. The rules are simple. One person from each team must balance a ball on their head without it falling off and without the use of any other body parts to keep it there. Now, if each team can choose their player, we can start. I turn to my teammate. So, who is up for this? Let me do it. For once, this actually seems like something he can do. Ah, uh, well, bouncing might be okay. Miss Archer, the other team has already made their selection. If your team could hurry it up. Right, I pick Mr. Bandages. Right, this one's in the back. For once, I agree. Good luck, Mr. Bandages. I don't need luck. We watch as Mr. Bandages and the other team's representative took their positions with a ball balanced on their head. The remaining members of each team are free to try and distract those participating, as long as no actual physical contact is involved. Sounds fun! Is that really fair though? I mean, I'm sure Mr. Bandages can win without us. Look, Mr. Bandages, your boyfriend has so much faith in you. Uh, what? You've got it wrong. He's not the boyfriend. Although, if you really want to play game, why don't we show you a real workout after this event is 
dog, Mr. Bandages just pointedly ignored the conversation and stood straight and tall. His opponent, on the other hand, was wobbling back and forth in an effort to keep the ball on his head. One of the other team's members turned to me with a leer on his face. Hey cutie, how about you and I have some fun later? Sorry, but I'll pass. Oh! I see how it is. You're playing all three of them at once, aren't you? Still, why don't you teach this loser and let the real man keep talking or rip your butts off and shove them down your throat? I turned when I heard the thumb of one of the paws hitting the ground. The other team's representative was cringing and had his hands in front of his crotch protectively. <coughs> <clears throat> the winner of this game is team number 7. Congratulations team number 7, you received 2 points. I turned to Mr. Bandages, who still looked completely unconcerned about the ball perched precariously on his head. He was looking at the other team with a smear on his face. That was too easy. 